It's a bountiful day in this hollow earth. A beautiful day for a hybrid. Do they shift shape? Boy, I feel great! Eww! Won't you be my cousin? Eww! Oh, shit! Welcome! to the most important meal of the day. Y'all know what it is. Shrimp for breakfast, y'all! And that means a piping hot black cup of coffee. Let's do that again. Mm. Let's really get a, a sip today, guys. Let's really get a, let's really get this teeth looking yellow with a juicy sip. <laughs> Not, oh, we forgot our garnish. We forgot our garnish. Here we go. All right. Oh, let's go. If you don't have a little shrimp in your breakfast, you might not have the pep in your step you need to get through the day. And of course, the main ingredient. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We got a little home grown dank greens up in there. We got that ghost shrimp kush pumping through the packs. Three, let's go. This is the breakfast that has been working ever since I was in high school, y'all. Ever since I started to get my shit together and say, fuck the status quo. Now I'm going to create my own reality, which is very apropos today. Kids are back to school. Wolfie is starting middle school. Brings me back to the times when I was that age. And let me tell you, it was rough. It was rough. We had just moved. I was unhappy going into middle school. And it was the beginning of me shedding my skin and becoming the ghost shrimp. It was the very beginning of my rebellion against the status quo. Because a lot of times the status quo is just a bunch of stupid people's bad ideas and never forget it. You don't have to play by any rules but your own, y'all. Ah, woo So good to be back. Mm. Amazing summer vacation. Summer ain't over yet. Just because school tells you summer's over, it's not. We still got another month of school. Don't get it twisted. Don't let them fool you, y'all. Don't let them steal your beach days. We still hitting the beach. We hit the beach so much this summer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ghost Fest, y'all. Ghost Fest was an absolute treat. It was a real treat. Thank you for everybody who came out, who showed out. We had... I don't know, 25 people for the week. Trickling in over the course of the week. Bunch of old friends, bunch of new friends. My little bro came through. My mom popped in for uh, a, a minute in the beginning. You know, really just so fun to have a forest where people can just come and vibe out and camp out and have fun. Still living that dream summer camp vibe, y'all, since we got this property 13 years ago. Woo! Let's go, dream life. The dream life ain't gonna make itself, y'all, right? You got to be relentless in your pursuit of the dream life. Now, that doesn't mean working yourself to the bone, but that means being high morale, being proactive, being productive, and going after your vision of your dream life. Once you're chasing the dream life, you're already in it because you're on that path, right? The opposite of that is not taking the time to figure out what you want to do, not taking the time to understand who you really want to be, 
and, and respecting your potential and really setting out your best current vision of what you want to do and what the shortest distance to that is, right? What is the shortest distance to your dream life right now, to the version of your dream life right now? And then how do you turn that into the next step and the next step and the next step, right? It's not a destination. It's a mindset. It's a process. It's life, y'all. This is what living is all about. It's not about being the template, not about following the leader, not about doing what everybody else does, right? You have one life, you have an opportunity here to push the boundaries of reality, to expand your mind, to connect with the energies in the universe and fuel your path to every day being psyched to get out of bed, hyped up, fucking just, just being like, oh man, I can't wait to get up and just have another day of this, you know, just keep doing it and then having fun. And then, oh, here's the weekend. Let's go have some fun. And then, oh, Monday's here. Oh, Monday's here. If Monday is the best day of your week, you're doing it right, right? I can't wait to come in and sit back down at this desk and get back to work, get back to drawing, y'all. What are we fucking talking about? The animals are kicking in, y'all. Let me tell you about. I'm on some new shit. This cycling frog passion fruit gummies, y'all. Oh, shit. Been popping a couple of these a few times a day. Woo! Now that's going to keep the doctor away. You know what I'm saying? That's going to keep the psychiatrist away. That's going to keep the fucking... That's going to keep you in the mindset of... If I'm not here to live my dream life, what the fuck am I here to do? Like, what's my purpose, right? For me, weed is always whispered in my ear. What's your purpose? What's your purpose, right? More than anything else, more than any person, place, or thing in my life, weed has been the thing in my life that was like, what's your purpose? Don't listen to other people. What's your purpose, right? And that has been absolutely crucially important, y'all. Absolutely! Yeah! Man, feeling good. Back on the workout routine this morning. I use these hilarious, cheesy videos. Cheesy in a good way. Shout out to HasFit. It's like heart and soul fitness. It's like this couple, this guy and this girl. And they have so many free videos on YouTube. And I actually sponsor their Patreon and, and uh, you know, I think Athena ha subscribes to their app too. But great workouts, a million videos, pretty much anything you can think of. Beginner, advanced, <clears throat> shorter, longer, harder, easier. Great way to get up, right? Popping out of bed, 6 a.m., Bang, walk right downstairs, get a workout in, drink some water, 6.30, get in the coffee, get in the shower, 7 a.m., here with y'all, having some shrimp for breakfast! <laughs> oh my God. I've, I haven't been in the broadcast mode, you know? Didn't do a lot of uh, social media this summer. <coughs> I go in and out. Sometimes it's really important to just be chill and not feel that pull to like document and record. But I did get a lot of cool. I have a lot of, uh, of videos and footage of Ghost Fest, which I'll be sharing out. And if you follow any of the attendees from Ghost Fest, I'm sure you saw, saw a bunch because I had a bunch of people lighting me up like, yo, what's going on over there? This shit looks dope. But it was legendary. It always lives up to the hype. You know, I think people come here with a certain expectation of, you know, what the experience is going to be like. And I don't think this goes best disappointed. We had a little bit of it all. We had some throwback moments. We had some wild, reckless moments and some mayhem going on. As usual. But I will tell you, I've learned about lessons as a summer rooster. 
Oh, and I just turned 44, y'all. What's up? August 14th. This Leo just entered a new cycle, a new year. And as the summer rooster I am, I'm learning my lessons, y'all. I'm learning my lessons. I'm getting a little bit smarter every year. To, to make your life better every year, you got to evolve a little bit more. Because the way life likes to play its tricks is that when you ignore a lesson, it's going to keep giving it to you in different ways and keep tripping you up. And when, just when you don't need something to happen, it's going to happen and it's going to trip you up until you learn that lesson. And I have been getting each year a little more <laughs> learned of my lessons of how to function as an adult in the world, right? How to put on my best adult performance. My best father performance, right? Your kids watching you do dumb shit is a great way to learn quick. You know, I think that's the number one thing. When my kids see me do something dumb and I go, God, I shouldn't have done that. That really gets me to try to correct course, you know? And, and you got to be patient with yourself. It takes time to evolve as a human. You know, I think people expect results right away. Especially nowadays, nowadays with the internet, they just want to download a new personality. Hey, what's Doral Lake goes mainstream? You know, it's coming, y'all. Stick around because the future's going to be outrageous. <laughs> My man Squatch Matrix coming through on Wednesday. Squatch is bringing the Squatch Pack for all y'all who know about the original. The original camp champ. The original Ghost Scout training camp camp champ. Year two. Squatch Matrix, a.k.a. Matthew Amore. A man like no other. A man who can crush a freestyle. If you know what I mean. Quite a camper. Quite a woodsman. Really got me going on pipes. Really, really got me going on piping it up back in the day. Had to leave that behind once my dad got the throat cancer. But that's why we be doing the vaping now, y'all. Less smoking, although I haven't. I've been smoking a lot. I've been smoking a lot during Coast Fest. We inhaled a lot of smoke. We drank a lot of brews and inhaled a lot of smoke. And I got to say, I'm pretty bored of drinking at this point. And these, dude, these guys, these guys have been killing it for me. These gummies, but also the cycling frog, and I and I'm I'm I, I'm hoping to partner with these guys. I reached out to them because I like their products so much, and they hit me back, so I'm gonna hit them up. Um, but these guys, cycling frog gummies and seltzers. These gummies are so freaking good. I mean, all the gummies are good, uh, but these ones are absolutely outstanding and have been really keeping me in the creative zone. Really. The perf two of these will just keep me in that flow state vibing when I'm working all day, every day, all day, Monday through Friday. And they have seltzers, guys, that are so delicious. They are in freaking sane. THC seltzers, they start at two milligrams. These are 10. They go to five milligrams, and I had some of those, and I got some 50 milligram drinks on the way, y'all. So that'll be really fun. That'll get you proper buzzed. But the five milligram little seltzers, you know, a lot of times we go to the beach and we'll we'll you know walk to the store and and get some brews, you know what I'm saying? A little sip of sunshine, Lawson's finest liquids, uh, maybe some Hill Farmstead. You know, the finest of the land. Or what have you. And, you know, crush a few brews at the beach. That's so relaxing and fun and, and summer vibes. But the other day I brought a few of the cycling frog seltzers. And let me tell you, that hit even better. And it's about the equivalent buzz of a, of a brewski or a cocktail or whatever. You know, kind of one for one, that five milligram hitter, at least for me. For 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 non-THC users, maybe a two milligram would start with that. 
that might feel like a brew. Athena had one of the five milligram ones when we were here chilling and she was like, oh, that's a little too much for me. So she requested the two MJs, you know, but it's great because it's all the uh, euphoria and buzz and, 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 and relaxation and nice feelings without the, the downsides, right? We all know what the downsides of alcohol are, you know, as soon as you stop drinking, that roller coaster just <clears throat> falls off to the side. It collapses and you're like tired, out of it, dehydrated, you know, inf the inflammation that's going on when you're doing it. We all know about it, right? The THC seltzers. Woo! I can't wait to get more. I, 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 I got a couple six packs just to sample it and kind of sipped them throughout the week. And boy, I love it. I love it! I got y'all are, uh, I know you're salivating over these new threads. Look at this shit. We got the Metal Face Princess tee on. I'm gonna be, I got for Ghost Fest, I got like a million new outfits. Of course, they all got the Ghost Shrimp patch on the sleeve. I love that little fucking emblem to the Ghost Shrimp society. You know what I'm saying? Wear your fan, your ghost shrimp fandom loud and proud, y'all. Let's go. Ghost shrimp pride. Hey, yeah. Getting that Monday morning energy pump up, y'all. Bam, 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 bang, bang, bang. Basketball season's right around the corner again. UFC's popping. We got the spear card coming up, y'all. We got the spear card coming up. Woo! We just had Drickus DDP take the belt from Izzy. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? UFC, if you need, want to get hyped up, watch some UFC, y'all. All right, what else has been going on? I've been, I've, I was in the zone in an amazing workout drawing summer zone uh, before Ghost Fest. Really in the flow state, really dialed in, you know, got a lot of work on my desk, as always, to get through, to get to the next jobs. Got a bunch of illustration work that I'm doing right now. Got more, another project overlapping in a in a week. And then uh, I got to get these off my desk because in the fall, we start in the new book, y'all. We're going to get the new book, but here's the first book. Bam, The Lost Forest. Woo! <laughs> Available at Walmart, at Target, at Amazon, at Barnes & Noble. All links on my website. Oh, Get yourself a copy today. It is the best, most exciting coloring book that has ever existed. And people are loving it. Post your colored pages, y'all. Because we're going to make a little collection of them okay now it's a back to school book it went from the summer's hottest coloring book to a back to school must have on dopra winfrey's bestseller list book club you gotta get it y'all y'all gotta get it y'all gotta get it this is my most important personal project to date with Penguin Random House, the largest book publisher in the world, the imprint is Tarcher Peregrine. Ask your bookstores to stock it, buy it, buy one for your friends, buy one for your cousins. Everybody needs a copy. It is for all ages. It's an adult coloring book because it's entertaining and interesting to adults, but it is very much appropriate for kids. There's nothing in there that uh, kids couldn't enjoy right there's nothing r-rated it's pg it's really pg you know you add the blood you make it pg-13 you make it r-rated you draw some triple x-rated characters into the it you know what i'm saying there's pages where you get to draw right there's pages in here there's four different pages where you draw look draw your own fantasy fort how about that how does that strike you how does that grab you Let's see another one. Is there another one in here? Oh, shit. Look at this. How does this grab you? Draw your own UFO. Maybe you've seen one in real life. Maybe this is the time to document it. Maybe you've seen one in your dreams. Maybe you've seen one in the past. Maybe you've seen one in the future. Maybe you'll see one today. Maybe you'll see one tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Draw it in here. This is more than just a book, y'all. It's a lifestyle. 
It's a mindset. Makes you lick your chops like this. Mmm, fresh. Fresh! I've been hitting this a lot. Definitely hitting. This has been this has been all in heavy rotation. Y'all saw it. When I smoked it, they made my content adult on YouTube. They're like, that's too adult. I can vape, and they don't say anything. But once the bong comes out, it's adult time. You know what I'm saying? Which is fair. Kids shouldn't smoke. Kids, don't smoke. Wait till your brain is fully developed. You know? Which is like, I don't even know. Never, probably, you know. But, so, yeah, do it sometime. But wait, wait maybe till you're, like, you know, I don't know. 18 is probably a good age. 18! I started smoking every day when I was about... It was after I broke my feet. So, I think I was, like, maybe just freshly 17, something like that. And I'm 44 now. 44! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, go shrimp. You're 44 years old. Yo, I made it, y'all. I fucking made it to 44. Can you believe it? So fucking hyped. I love birthdays. I love my birthday. I love other people's birthdays. My man, my neighbor, my colleague, my fellow Adventure Tribe alumni, Ken Osborne. His birthday's coming up on August 30th. So be sure to give him a round of applause. Happy birthday to Ken. Happy birthday to Ken. You got to do a amazing VizDev project. I can't remember if I even talked about this, but before... When was it? In the beginning of August? No, no. In, in so Maybe, I guess sometime in July, June, July, I got to do some amazing visual development for uh, Disney with a project that Kent is producing, created by Nick and Lucy. If you know, you know. They all work on KIF right now. Nick and Lucy are the creators of KIF. What a wonderful show. What great people. Let me tell you, if you ever meet Nick and Lucy... You couldn't meet a better couple, really. Hung out with them in L.A. when we were there on vacation last time. Got in a nice hang with them and kind of laid the foundation for some of this VizDev. We've actually been talking about doing this VizDev for like three plus years. We were talking online and then we hung out. They came to visit Kent. They are from South Africa. DDP. World champion. Shout out South Africa. It's on the come up right now. Let's fucking go. S-A-O day. Uh, and uh, they came and visited Kent. And we became real life friends. And uh, then we got to become work friends too. And got to do some wicked fun viz dev for them. And uh, for a pilot, for another pilot, for their second Disney project, Kip is killing it. They're they're working on uh, more of that. And, uh, you know, in today's animation industry, in the animation industry today, that's no small feat. You know, like that's a tricky uh, equation to solve today in today's day and age. Um, but I think they've been in development over there for a while developing KIF and developing this other project. So uh, I'm. it's amazing that they've been able to make it through all this turmoil. They are... Good, good job, guys. Good job, good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. Let's go! Shout out to my man, Bark the Dog, out in the Philippines. And the bells in the Philippines is always... Oh! And uh, my man Tokar was just here. We're just fucking dancing a little ditty around, going all over the town. My man Tokar was up here for Ghost Fest. Fucking camp champ year six. John Mansfield, a.k.a. Beard Lips, showed up to Ghost Fest. Coming back. He hasn't been back here in many years. So fun to have returning campers. 
come hang with us in the woods. That's what that dream life is all about, y'all. That's what that dream life is all about. Dreaming it up and the life and the dreamers. <laughs> all right, y'all. So, what's going on? What is even going on in the world today? Um, we got the workshop coming up. Uh, it will start, I always say September, but it's actually like October because it ends in December. So December, November, October, October, November, December. 10 weeks ending <clears throat> the week before Christmas. Taking the American Thanksgiving holiday off. Uh, it is nine assignments in 10 weeks if you're interested. If you are sitting at home, if you are feeling artistically stagnant, if you are an aspiring visual artist, if you are a professional visual artist, but feel like you need a refresher, uh, you need to be hyped up, you need to maybe get back into making the artwork you want to make for yourself again rather than you know, being a corporate art worker that just creates work for the industry. Uh, it's of the utmost importance for your artistic soul and the soul of all humanity that uh, artists, regardless of what they do with all their time, spend a certain amount of their time making the art that they love to stay true to that spark of inspiration, that spark of creativity, um, you know, creating for the reason that they drew when they were a kid, painted when they were a kid, had fun when they were a kid, being able to play, right? Drawing and, and creativity and art should feel like play. It should not feel like work, right? Sometimes it's challenging and you have to work hard at it, but it should always still feel like play, just like a competitive game of, 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 uh, you know, sports or uh, board games or Dungeons and Dragons or whatever, right? There could be challenging moments in there, but, you know, it should always feel like play. It should always really be fun. And, and, and when it does get tough and when you question why you're doing this, that interest should be there, right? And it shouldn't be money. It should be, man, this is a challenge that I want to take on to evolve myself as a human being, as an infinite as a creative animal in an infinite universe, as an infinite animal in a creative universe, the paradox and the paradigms of life, that's the thing that makes, that, that that's the only thing that makes sense, right? And if you want to have a structured 10 weeks of that, sign up for the Go Shrimp Classic Workshop today. It's gonna start in October and it's gonna be three sections Starts with creating strong personal work. Start, it continues with, <laughs> woo, these gummies are kicking in, y'all. I'm about ready to start drawing. Uh, uh, it starts with creating strong personal work, unique work, personal mythology. And then we go to commercial illustration. You know what I'm saying? Start to get in there with some album cover jobs. You know what I'm saying? Start to get in there with some work. And then we go to visual development and production backgrounds, right? All my specialties, doing the work I want to do, killing it in the illustration game. I mean, come on, y'all know who you, who I am. And killing it in the fucking VizDev and, you know, uh, uh, animation production background realm, right? I'm not trying to teach you anything that I haven't done at a world championship level. Um, and you know, there's a lot of people out there that do workshops. There's a lot of motivational people out there, but make sure the people that you are listening to and you are, you know, uh, uh, looking for those bells to ring, make sure they've done the shit that you want to do, right? People that just talk about shit and actually haven't done it. They don't actually know what they're talking about. Get a group of creative friends. That's what the workshop really is for most people. They go, I don't have a lot of artist friends in my real life. Same thing that when they come to Ghost Fest. I, I'm, I never hang out with all these artists and just sit around and draw, right? Just sit around and talk creativity and, 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 and art, right? Raise your creative IQ by having a friend group online, in real life, you know, and a lot of the people that came to Ghostfest this year, they came through the workshop. They were workshop 
maybe they did the classic maybe they even some of the people even went on to do the the uh the mythical magnum dopest workshop right maybe we'll run another one of those soon but sign up for the classic workshop today at goshenglobal.com you will not regret it let's go y'all there's a little sugar breakfast that's a stoned ass ADHD absolute rant fast and you're going to be seeing a lot of me because we are back in broadcast mode. We are back to fill this workshop. We are back to get the hype machine going into the fall and holiday seasons, y'all. We're going to be selling merch. We're going to be selling books. we got to be hyping you up and we're going to be doing fall workshop and winter workshop. Let's fucking go, y'all. more in common than you have with com in conflict with everybody out in this world no matter what no matter where no matter when right more in common more in common with everything on this planet really but let's start with humanity right give each other a break be patient be open-minded for real you don't know everything nobody is right and nobody is wrong right? We're all just trying to figure it out in this infinite mystery called life. And the more we work together, the easier it's going to be for everybody and the more enjoyable y'all. Let's fucking go y'all. Let's go around the globe.